Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make some beautiful DIY pillow covers out of luxurious velvet fabric featuring an exposed metallic zipper. I featured these DIY pillow covers in my recent fall home tour. I will link that down below. I think they are so luxurious and beautiful for the fall and winter seasons and I'm going to show you how to make them. First of all, purchase some fabric from fabric.com. I found this fabric in a beautiful deep teal color in a sort of upholstery grade beautiful velvet fabric. I will link to it down below. Next, cut two squares that are the same size as your pillow insert. I love to use the IKEA down pillow inserts. They measure 20 by 20 inches. I have a whole bunch of them and I just swap out the pillow cover seasonally. It's a great way to save space in your storage if you just have a bunch of pillow forms and then a whole bunch of pillow covers and you can store those nice and flat. So I cut one piece of velvet that was 20 by 20. Then you can use that piece to measure out your second piece of velvet. And that's also going to be 20 by 20 inches. The reason I make these the same size as my pillow inserts is because once I have the seams on here, the pillow covers are going to be about one inch smaller than the pillow inserts. And that's going to create a nice fluffy looking pillow. I found this copper colored continuous zipper on Amazon. I will link this below as well. I absolutely love these zippers. I have the copper version and I have the gold version and you get a lot of zipper for a really great price. Here's how I attach the zipper heads to the zippers. So I cut out a V just like this on the top of my continuous zipper with some nice sharp scissors. So I do a V on one side of the zipper top and I cut one out on the other side. So it's going to look something like this. Then take your zipper head. You're going to open up the top of your zipper just slightly about the first inch or so. Take the zipper head, use the back of the zipper head, put one end of the zipper through one piece of the zipper head, and then the other end of the zipper through, through the other hole in the zipper head. And then you can kind of sort of push it through. And that's how easily I can attach the zipper heads onto the zippers. It's kind of tricky um, at first, but once you get the hang of it, this is a really quick way to do it. Next, make sure to cut the zipper to match the length of your pillowcase. So in my case, mine are 20 by 20. Next, you're going to create some pillow stops out of extra fabric. So I just cut two rectangles out of my fabric that were two inches long by one inch high. You can add these or you cannot. I've done a couple different versions of the pillow. They're a little bit better with the pillow stops. The zipper doesn't quite go to the end this way. It kind of helps keep the pillow lasting longer, um, but there aren't, they aren't totally necessary. I've done pillows without them as well. So you're going to fold them in half and you're going to sew them on either end of the zipper, just like this. So it creates this nice little stopper. That's the same color as your fabric. So I'm just using a sewing machine. I will link to a similar sewing machine down in the description box below. Love this one. It is very, very simple, but it always does exactly what I need it to do. So you're going to sew one of these pillow stops onto each side, just like this. Then you're going to take your zipper. You're going to put it uh, right sides together to one of the sides of your velvet squares. And then you're going to pin it to the top of the velvet square, just like I'm doing here. I use three pins. You could use more if you'd like. You're going to want to use a zipper presser foot. So this has only one side of the presser, presser foot so that the zipper, the bulk of the zipper can go beside it like this. And then you're going to go ahead and sew along as close to the zipper as possible. You're going to sew the zipper onto the top of your square of fabric. The closer you can get to that metallic part of the zipper, the better, because the less white showing, the better the effect at the end. If there is a little bit of white showing on your zipper, it's not a big deal. You won't really see it, but the less, the better for sure. So here's how my zipper looks sewed to one side of my pillow case, just like this. Next, you're going to take the other piece of velvet fabric. Just make sure the nap is the same as the first piece. So when you brush it, it's going to look the same. So when I brush down on both these pieces, they look the same. And then you put those right sides together and then you're going to pin that new piece to the zipper as well, just like this. So matching up the end of the zipper to the square of the fabric. 
Next, go ahead and sew this side of the zipper to that side of the fabric. Again, use the zipper presser foot and go as close to the metallic part of the zipper as possible. So here's a close up of me sewing. Uh, one little trick here, when you get to the zipper head, you can go as close to the zipper head as possible with your sewing machine. And then all you need to do is you need to lift up the presser foot as high as it goes. Just make sure your needle is in the down position. And then you can ease that zipper head past the presser foot, kind of ease it behind the presser foot. Then once, that once that's behind the presser foot, you can put the foot down and resume sewing. So that's how I get around my zipper heads. Make sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end of your zipper to make sure your pillow is nice and strong. All right, so once the zipper is folded, here's how it looks. I absolutely adore how this exposed zipper style is. I think it looks so chic and beautiful, especially for fall. So you're going to place the, the uh, fabric right sides together once again, smooth it all out, match it all up, and pin, pin, pin. So pin around the perimeter of your pillow, just like I'm doing here. You can add more pins than I am. Uh, it's completely up to you as to how many pins you want to secure it. And then you're just gonna sew around the perimeter of the pillow. So start on the top of the pillow where the zipper is. You're going to have to potentially use your hand and hand turn the crank on your sewing machine to get past the zipper. You wanna be really careful here because if you go right to full speed ahead on the zipper part, you might break your needle. So you potentially might have to hand crank that part and then the rest is pretty straightforward. Just sew a half inch seam allowance and use kind of a medium stitch length and sew all the way around the perimeter of your pillow. Sew the right side, the bottom, and then finally the left side. And again, once you get to the zipper at the very top of your pillow, you kind of fold it up so that the uh, seam allowance looks like this here. And then again, you might have to hand crank your thread and your needle over the zipper just to make sure you don't break the needle because there's so much bulk there. Also, just make sure to backstitch really well on the top and the other side where the zipper is to make everything nice and strong. Next, cut the corners of your pillowcase like I'm doing here. What this does is it takes the bulk away from the corners from the fabric, and then when you turn your pillow right side out, the corners are nice and smooth. Then you can ease open the zipper and turn your pillowcase right side out. I just use my finger to push those corners open, but you could also use the blunt end of a knitting needle or the blunt end of a pencil. And here's how the case looks. So here is my 20 by 20 Ikea down pillow form. Again, love these. I totally recommend them. They're very inexpensive and I swap them out with pillow covers all the time. So pop your pillow form inside and then you can zip it right up. I really love how this looks. I like the exposed metallic for fall, for Christmas, and the zipper is also a really great way to easily take your pillow covers off and on your pillow forms and swap your covers out seasonally. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this velvet pillow tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below if you would try to make this or let me know down in the comments below what other types of pillows you've made. I would love to hear. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you're going to enjoy up in the left hand corner.